martial arts, commonly called the art of fighting, is a concept which goes much higher than that. It can take hours to explain and even longer to understand. In its simplicity, it is a science of how the body works and using that knowledge to protect oneself from harm, even outside the realm of combat. For example, the underground sport of free runners. There are many differences between these. One thing that they all share in common is this. See what I mean? Five styles of Jedi in this documentary are Aikido, Chikido, Jiu Jitsu, Mai Tai, and the worldwide concept of mixed martial arts. Firstly, Aikido. A martial arts style that originates from Japan like so many other later generation stars, as a synthesis of a student's teachings, philosophy, and religious beliefs. This student's name was Mohai Yoshiba. Creating a style that aims to protect oneself as well as tackling injury is considered gentle or soft style. Once mastered, an Aikido, time for a practitioner in league, can defend themselves from their directions without hardly having to move from a pivotal point, even to the point where they can do it on the ground. to learn self-defense you like you control the fight you use uh, your strength against him or her so uh, the, uh, the other one is more defensive but is more defensive ours is just very real um, I mean I've done a little bit of karate and done a little bit of judo uh, judo is very much a sport and uh, if you were to go and throw someone using a perfect judo technique um, you'd go to grab their t-shirt and it would just rip, uh, whereas with jiu-jitsu, they teach you a lot more about like, grabbing people's arms and stuff, which... It can improve you physically, and uh, it can in in increase the strength of your body, make you stronger, and, and of course, the speed. So, uh, physically, it's a very uh, amazing thing.
Gerald's pretty much Crash and Dash. Um, yeah. It's a self-defense rather than a fighting style. Um, and a lot of the techniques that we use are designed to cause an impact um, so that the attacker is disabled, so the defender can run away. That's pretty much the, the idea behind it. Yeah, the spiritual side is, is um, a very relevant thing to most martial arts and, and whilst um, I believe it's, it's pretty much a personal journey in terms of whether someone wants to take on board a lot of the spiritual aspects, um, we probably you know, go no further than um, our pledge and principles that we follow uh, in, the, in the training. Uh, we do emphasize those, so we have the honesty, humility, those kind of aspects that we have uh, in our motto that we set the principles um, and, and we'll help the individual kind of understand the application of those particular um, principles as it were. I'm going to get in most martial arts. Grandmaster Choi though has spent a lot of time in ensuring that the, uh, the movements that we use, bilateral movements, actually also develop uh, the brain as well. So we're uh, in, in the way that we're punching and kicking and certainly in the patterns that we use in our martial arts. Uh, we, we created a good balance in the brain, left and right hemisphere uh, in terms of development uh, in that respect as well. So uh, we, we should see uh, a development as we do with most of our students within about four to six months they're starting to experience these changes. So we've been to Japan, Korea, now we're going to take a trip to Thailand, so to speak. Some of the most ferocious figures of style around, Mai Tai, the art of ATMs, also known as Thai boxing. So we've looked at several styles from around the world, but now we're going to look at the ever so popular style of mixed martial arts, which is basically combining what a practitioner has learned from at least more than one style. Now I'm not talking about MMA or UFC cage fighting, they just get a bunch of guys who have a black belt in more than one style. What they should really get a black belt in is power. The only exception, however, is Lyoto Machida. He don't play that game, which is why his opponents hate him, and I love the guy. Dodge, weave, get in, put him down, then knock them out. Anyways, true mixed martial arts is using what you've learned from one style to outweigh the disadvantages of another, like what Bruce Lee did. Inspired by the boxer Muhammad Ali, he incorporated his feet dance into his own style to make himself more agile and less predictable. And in so doing, created Jiet Kune Do, the style without a style. Like Bruce Lee said, water, combining anything, everything and philosophy so you don't have to think, just react. That's what the true meaning behind martial arts is. And to help you understand how that works, I brought along my little helper to give you a demonstration of how using a combination of styles can work. So in Chai Kondo, we learned the side palm strike, in the Mai Tai, the knee strike, and in Jiu Jitsu and Aikido, the arm wrist locks. And we will be doing this in slow motion. I got a volunteer from the Chai Kondo class. So she attacks, palm strike, knee strike, wrist lock, and there's five martial arts styles at their best.